I left constellation work because I had this direct knowing that the physical body doesn't have a personal self. And because I believed we had to change the negative aspects of the personal self into positive ones, I suddenly had no reason to do my work anymore. If we don't have a personal self, what am I doing with people? What purpose does my work have changing you know, family issues from negative to positive if there isn't a self there? So I literally, from one moment to the next, was done and walked away and couldn't explain it to Aline or anybody else because I didn't understand it. I just knew I couldn't do the work anymore because if there isn't a self, since that's the premise of my work, I couldn't continue doing it. So it was a very long process of understanding why we don't have a self. I learned that through my deconstruction and I call it the liberation process. And um, so after I had understood, well, the, the, the self that we want to get to or really want to live from is this impersonal energy that is free of the body. It's not it's tied to the body while we're alive, but it's not really part of the body. It's really separate. And when the body dies, this energy just merges back into all that is. So when I had this very clear, direct understanding through my process, right afterwards, I met Michael. And he's a psychotherapist, and I ended up doing work for his clients and he had to kind of force me to do it again because I said it's not helpful in the awakening process because there isn't a self how does this kind of work help and so I ended up doing a constellation and I realized oh it's immensely helpful <laughs> in the awakening process because I understood programming in a way that I didn't before before I thought we are these people, and now I don't see us that way. I just see us as these bodies are programmed, and we think we are people, but we are really the empty space that inhabits these bodies. That's who we really are. That's what really wants to live this life. Well, it does live it, but it wants to live it more free and get out of this very tight programmed prison. And so the work that I had always been doing, I ended up doing again, but from a different understanding. So we are collapsing this programming. So that which always is there, our true nature, which isn't bound by time and space and physical existence, can live freely through the physical existence, through the body. So I came at the work with a very different perspective, doing the same work, but now to collapse the whole thing so it can be empty. So we can really operate from an unprogrammed space. 